one argument against online education um, has been that uh, the inability of students to do uh, labs, especially in the natural sciences. Well, that argument is no longer valid. Here is a set of labs that I've put together, and uh, all of these can be used in combination with online courses. So um, to start off, go to http uh, techtanya.com uh, slash online labs dot html. Uh, let's look at the first link right here. Uh, this is uh, sciencecoursefair.org. It has uh, great resources for uh, earth and environmental sciences, geology labs, and biology labs online. The biology labs is particularly uh, interesting. Um, so I'm going to go to biology labs online. Um, they have labs on um, flies, evolution, demography, mitochondria, and uh, various others. So you might want to uh, check that out. Let's go back. Um, so we've looked at biology labs online already. McGraw Hill has some really interesting uh, resources as well. This one particularly is on uh, population biology, uh, but they have uh, other links as well, which we'll come to in a minute. Um, on physics, this is a, a, a physics, a virtual physics lab uh, compilation here. And let me just look at one, which is the uh, virtual micrometer. And uh, you need uh, Java, of course. And um, this is the, the virtual lab. The Java is uh, loading. Um, so here, this is, you can adjust this uh, by uh, clicking uh, left and right on this and um, ch changing the um, settings um, using vernier calipers and um, there is other uh, labs here as well um, so let's go back to this and then here's the chemistry lab uh, where you have a bunch of documentation and then you can um, uh, run the virtual lab again you can download it here and uh, also get uh, documentation of getting started. So I'm not going to wait for this, but go, do go ahead and try it out um, yourself. So that's the lab which just got downloaded. Um, so I'm trying to go back here um, on biology. So I, earlier I talked about McGraw Hill. Um, these are all the labs they have on biology, and these are some uh, great labs. I've uh, checked a few out. So here's one on uh, plant transpiration. Very attractive, uh, nicely done. Um, then uh, anatomy. Uh, this is also a McGraw Hill site, and they have labs on uh, anatomy. Here, I'm clicking uh, one of the links right here. Whoops, okay, so this one's not working. But um, I have checked out some of the others, and they're pretty good. So if you need labs in anatomy, go ahead and check them out. And then there's one uh, on optics. Again, it's an optics applet. And the last one is onlinelabs.in, and it's a collection of several different uh, online labs. So you can see physics, biology, anatomy, geology, etc. So all of these um, look great. Um, do check them out. Um, so, you know, in, in, in conclusion, let me just say that. Uh, the argument that has been put forward against online education, uh, which is that there's no uh, labs for the natural sciences, is not really correct. There's tons of great stuff out there, and uh, instructors interested in virtual education can just pull these up and use them uh, with their online course. Thank you.